Hey everybody, welcome back to My the Popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Today we're going to be talking about Jumanji, the next level. Oh my God. Wait, we're in the wrong body. My joints feel like butter. Oh, no. I feel loose myself. This can't be happening! I came back and things actually got worse. So we are back into the world of Jumanji, the next level, part three, or however you want to call it. And you know what, you guys? It is just as fun as the previous Jumanji. Uh, I know it might not have been everybody's cup of tea, but I was quite fond of it. So in the trailer, I believe it does show that Spencer is the one that kind of goes back into the world of Jumanji. I think so. If not, then that's a spoiler. But that hopefully that's going to be the only spoiler that I get. But I'm pretty sure I am about... 95% sure that was in the trailer and he decides to go back voluntarily into the world of Jumanji so he can become his avatar Dr. Smolden. Yeah I can't do it. I there's yeah. But since the game is messed up they all enter into this world as different avatars. We do get a whole new avatar and uh, this time around Aquafina and we get two new players uh Danny Glover and uh Danny DeVito. Well, of course, throughout the movie, you just have the avatars, which are, you know, Dwayne, Kevin, Karen, and uh, Jack, and Nick. And they decide to go back into the game to try to get Spencer out. They think that they're going to be able to handle this game because they've done it before, but little do they know that it is basically the next level of the game, and um, it is quite different than what they originally had to go through. In part one, I can, well, part two of Jumanji, I felt that Jack Black stole the, the movie uh, portraying Madison. Well, in this part, I feel that actually Kevin Hart kind of stole it. He is portraying Danny Glover, and then just the tone of this voice, it just really worked, and I could see Danny Glover within him. And even Dwayne, I mean, there was times when he was doing this weird, like, voice thing, and I was just like, what is he doing? But he was channeling Danny DeVito in his own way. And they do have a little bit more CGI deal that does give it that video game vibe. If you think about it, it is a video game. So for me, it worked and it went with it. You will have a hell of a good time with this film, you guys. Like, I full, full on recommend for you guys to go and check this movie out with your family. Like, just literally make it into like a family day. The kiddos are gonna absolutely enjoy this film. I enjoyed it. Take me with you. I would love to go see it again. You see a whole new version of Jumanji now. And if you've seen Jumanji the next level, let me know down below what you guys thought about it. Go ahead and rank the Jumanji movie. Were you looking forward to this movie? Are you planning on passing on it? Oh, before I forget, there is an end credit scene pretty early on. You, you don't have to wait too long. But before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!